Joe Ripley from the 11 Alive political team went to Washington, D.C. to hear the Biden administration's plan to curb the problem of gun violence across the country. I come to this work as a survivor first. This work is personal for Greg Jackson. April of 2013, I was caught in a crossfire uh, and shot, and a bullet that hit me hit two arteries, uh, nearly costing my life. Now, Jackson hopes to save lives. He's the deputy director of the White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention, established in 2023 to reduce the problem nationwide. Gun violence is intensely impacting black and brown communities, um, and this is the number one cause of death for all youth. Number one cause of premature death for black men. The trend troubling, especially in Atlanta, where police are investigating two shootings this week. We invested for the first time in community violence intervention programs, community-led strategies that we know can intervene and work with those who are most at risk uh, before a shooting happens, especially in black and brown communities where inter interpersonal conflict really fuels a lot of the violence. The Safer Communities Act, passed in 2022, cracked down on unlicensed private sellers, which the Department of Justice identified as the number one source for traffic guns through gun shows or online marketplaces. Anyone who's engaged in the business of selling guns must be licensed and must conduct background checks. That's a, an additional 20,000 private sellers that now have to be held to the same standards as gun stores. Jackson preaches de-escalation to prevent gun violence because the trauma is personal, and so is the work to address it. Reporting from the Juneteenth Regional Reporter Summit at the White House, I'm Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.